Good morning. It's uh, a bit of a cloudy start for a number of us. We have some showers and storms to talk about as well, but there is some sun poking through the clouds as well in places like Killington. Temperatures there are in the lower 60s this morning. The dew points relatively comfortable and there is some fog as you go towards the east of Killington as well into parts like West Bridgewater and Woodstock as well. 64 right now in Plattsburgh, 63 in Burlington, the upper 50s and lower 60s for the Adirondacks and much of central and eastern Vermont. And here's the fog. Most of it has burned off. However, there are still some suspect spots from St. Jay South through Lebanon. You'll find a fog for another hour or so, but most of this is burning off pretty quickly as we go through the morning hours. Here's a look at Storm Tracker. Like I mentioned, we're dealing with some showers and thunderstorms again this morning, again across parts of northern New York, up near Malone, right along US 11 here as you go towards Santa Clara and Lion Mountain. So I'll put a track on this for the next hour or so. In Lion Mountain, you'll get this storm in the next, say, 19 or 20 minutes. Dana Mora, about a half an hour. Saranac Lake, rather Saranac itself, coming up in just over a half an hour. And as we go into the next hour, Peru and Osable, you guys are next in line for some showers, heavy rain, and some well, embedded thunderstorms as well. So more showers and storms bubble up this afternoon. These are hit or miss, but we'll show you what those look like in just a moment here. And once this disturbance clears through, we're talking about a very warm finish to next week. Temperatures come close to 90 degrees on a couple of days going forward here. So I think the lightning is the biggest threat today from any storms that do develop. And I do think that hail and heavy rain will also be pretty noticeable as well. Potentially some damaging wind in the strongest of storms too. So here's future cast. We'll stop the clock at 8 o'clock. Not too bad. We do have some rain across the Champlain Valley Point South. The strongest of the storms are from, we'll say, Middlebury South through Rutland. And there's a second round later on in the afternoon. You see some of these shades of yellows and reds, more organized thunderstorms roaring through parts of, say, Essex County in New York and central and southern Vermont. I think southern Vermont has the best chance for any severe weather today, but most of the activity clears up by tonight. And first thing tomorrow morning, plenty of sunshine, maybe a wispy cloud or two in the morning, but I think most of us see plenty of sun throughout much of Monday. And then a weak disturbance comes through late Monday night to early Tuesday. So we'll see a few more scattered showers and downpours before they clear up and we get a very nice finish to the day on Tuesday. Highs today, the middle and upper 60s and lower 70s, a far cry from the 80s and the 90s we saw the last couple of days across northern Vermont and northern New York. 71 in Milton, 70 in Burlington, 70 in St. Johnsbury and towards the south, much of the same, the middle and upper 60s and lower 70s for much of the broader valley. So the five day forecast again, the scattered storms give way to more sunshine tomorrow and Tuesday. A few showers early though on Tuesday give way to more sun in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 80s. The fireworks on Wednesday look great in Burlington. Plenty of sunshine, maybe a wisp or two of clouds in the afternoon. Temperatures though climb to the upper 80s. So it's a very warm afternoon. And for the 4th of July, so far, not so bad. Maybe a scattered thunderstorm or two in the late afternoon and early evening hours. Keep that in mind as you're making some outdoor plans for the holiday. We're in the upper 80s to near 90, though, so very warm for the end of next week. I also think the humidity builds up late on Thursday and continues all the way through Saturday. In fact, near oppressive humidity will make it feel closer to 90 on Friday. Same deal on Saturday before a refreshing finish on Sunday.